California real estate is out of control. If you're trying to get into the rental real estate game and you're living in California and you don't know what to do, I want you to watch this show. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You're watching Holton Wise TV. Go ahead, give a little little tap tap to that subscribe button if this is the first time you've ever come across one of our shows folks we are published uh anywhere you consume your videos right we uh hold my tv's published on youtube it's on our website it's on facebook uh tiktok you know any type of platform you're comfortable with uh we're there right so check out holton wise tv in the various locales man and if you are a california investor we are going to be a very helpful resource for you okay california investors you face a problem you face a dilemma you want to get in the game but you can't afford to right the pricing is just ridiculous plus you got ultra liberal landlord tenant uh laws out there right and you know whatever man if you're left if you're right this or that it's cool whatever i don't really feel like getting into that discussion today in this video or anything but at the end of the day uh the more liberal the landlord tenant policy is the more difficult uh it is on the landlord to do business right no matter what side of the political spectrum you are on i think we can all agree with that okay so what happens is a lot of folks in California come to Holton Wise TV because we help you guys buy, manage, renovate cash flowing assets just like this one. And my man that I'm working with today, Joe, you are no different, dog. You're a grocery store manager from LA and you are pre approved for $60,000 property. Okay, you got 20K in cash. You got a total, you can go up to 60K, right? So I'm targeting three houses for you today. This is the second one, brother. 15413 Rockside Road hit the market four days ago. Solid B class neighborhood listed at 72 grand. Just a nice little cash cow, dude. What do they have to say? The listing agent said this three bedroom, one bathroom Cape Cod is income producing and has great potential for investors of all types. Tenant occupied with long term tenant currently paying eight fifty per month on the Section 8 program. Recent updates include new carpet, new flooring, and new water heater, right? Okay, we don't have any additional photos, but that's normal. You're going to see that, right? Uh, tenants don't like people coming in their houses bothering them, number one. Number two, uh, they really don't like it during COVID, okay? And I, I don't know. No, it doesn't seem like COVID's going anywhere, right? So totally normal, right? Maple Heights has a POS system. We're going to ask for a clear POS. If you don't know what POS means, pause the video in the show notes. I got a video on POS. If you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, you need to understand about the POS, right? Now, we want to try to target this for you, dude, at 60K, right? They want 72, but we're going to try to pick you up a property at 60, right? No sense trying to offer more. You don't have more, right? 60 is uh, our cap, and I'm looking at three similar properties, and I think we'll get one of them for you, okay? With the way the numbers uh, pencil out on this one, 850 comes in. That's 10,200 for the year. 3,441 should be your anticipated estimated ROI. At 60K, you only need 15 into the deal. The loan's 45. That will result in a 7.7% cash on cash return or a 5.7 cap. And just like the last one, Joe, I don't want you to get too focused on that cash on cash return number, bro. 7.7. What that means right now is this property makes money, okay? That's good. It can make more money. What we typically see is a rent of a thousand bucks a month for houses like this. This is a long-term Section 8 tenant, right? So whenever this landlord rented this house to that tenant on their Section 8 voucher, the going rate was like 850, okay? And then it's just kind of, you just leave them in there and just that's how it goes, right? If you try to get that rent increase, like what we're seeing market rents right now, thousand bucks, right? So do I think you need to immediately go in there and like bank on the fact that we'll like immediately get it to go up to a thousand? No, probably not, right? It's probably going to take a little time, but you got to know that you have meat on the bone. So it's good that it currently makes you 7.7% cash on cash return right now. But in the future, know that you got another $150 a month coming your way, bro. So that would be 150 times 12. That's another 1,800 that would get added right onto your net cash flow after mortgage, which is currently projected out at 
1,161 plus that 1,800. That's a total of 2,961. Divide that by your all-in of 15K. That would kick this deal up to 19.74% cash on cash return, right? So just that small deviation in rent really changes how the numbers look on this. So any way you slice it, dude, this is a good deal. Makes money now with lower rent. We can get higher rent in the future. Solid neighborhood, clear POS. It's been uh, annually inspected by Section 8. And we might stay at a pretty good shot at getting it cheaper because uh, the listing agent actually made an error. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> right? It's a three bedroom home, okay? Three bedroom home. But when they input it into the MLS, they actually only wrote that it's a two bedroom. So this is showing up on other websites like Zillow or Realtor.com as a two bedroom. So people that are specifically searching for three bedroom homes are going to miss this one. In addition, there's uh, two kind of people that buy houses, dude. Investors like you, owner occupants, right? This particular property, the prices are driven by your whole thing of buyers, right? Your whole buyer base. Well, this property's got a tenant in there, so half the buyers in the world are already cut off from this particular property because they can't live there, right? So that's going to drive the price down because not only investors are looking at it, and now investors that want three-bedroom homes are probably not looking at it because they put it in there, even though they corrected their mistake in the remarks and said that it's a three-bedroom. Investors who are just typing in three-bedroom homes in those search bars are going to miss this one. So we got a good shot at picking this up for 60 But if that doesn't work, dude, I got another option that we're going to look at right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.